I'm Judy Armitage. I'm now Emeritus Fellow in Biochemistry at the University of Oxford. I started um, doing my BSc in 1980 at University College London, Department of Botany and Microbiology, and I did my PhD there. And it was there that I got my Lister Fellowship. And I think it was on the back of the Lister Fellowship that I ended up being a lecturer and then a professor and, and built my career in Oxford. So when I started, uh, the Lister Institute paid salaries and I was one of the first cohort along with people like Alec Jeffries and Chris Higgins. And so it paid my salary and it paid me research, um, consumable money and small equipment money. So it allowed me to actually start my own laboratory researching into something that I was interested in, not as part of a group doing research that a senior PI was interested in. So it allowed me to actually go off on a, what was really a complete tangent. Um, I don't think there was really anybody in the UK at the time that I started who was interested in bacterial behaviour who was actually interested in bacterial motility, how bacteria swam, and how they swam towards things that they liked and away from things that they didn't like. And I was particularly interested in that decision-making. Um, if I hadn't had the fellowship, I don't quite know what I would have done. This was the sort of early 1980s. Um, like now, the economy wasn't in a great shape. There weren't a lot of jobs around. And I'd wanted to be a microbiologist from being 16. I really wanted to continue in microbiology, but I didn't think there were any jobs in academia for women, because in my department, there were no senior women academics. But there was one particular woman in the biochemistry department at UCL, called Pat Clark, and she'd been very successful working on Pseudomonas, and she sort of saw something in me and she was the one who pointed me in the direction of, well, it was an advert for, for applying for these list of fellowships where you could develop your own career with your own salary. Without Pat Clark and without the funding for the Lister Institute, I wouldn't be here today. Um, I would have gone off into public health or something else because I, I really didn't think there was a role for women in academic science. So it's on the back of that that I made a career in bacterial motility, in bacterial behaviour. And I think it's been a relatively successful career and I've been happy all the way through doing exactly what I actually wanted because of the Lister Institute. So where is my career now? I have retired. Um, I retired at the beginning of a pandemic, which was a brilliant time to retire. So you don't know whether your mental state is to do with being retired or being locked down. Um, during that time, I was president of the Microbiology Society. And it was also a great time to be the president of the Microbiology Society. I spent a lot of that time on Zoom. Now I've shifted roles, so I no longer have an experimental lab. Um, and it does take some getting used to not having an experimental lab. But I sit on a number of governing bodies, obviously the Lister, the Royal Society, uh, the John Innes, uh, a few advisory, microbiology advisory boards for Europe. And so keep my hand in looking at the next generation, helping develop, I hope, the next generation of microbiologists and thinking, oh, well, what would I do if I was a microbiologist now? <laughs>